Hi guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to create a look that you can use for your Valentine Day as Valentine Day is approaching. So I thought why not to show you guys a look that you can use for your Valentine Day. Now it's time to begin with this look. I've already made my eyebrows using Laurel Paris Brow Artist Genius Kit and I'll be now using my aloe vera gel to prime my face on the top of my moisturized skin. For my foundation I'm using Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in shade Y245. I've taken it in a flat foundation brush and then I'm gonna apply it on my face as in dots like too many dots so that it will be easy in blending I'm also applying it on my neck and little bit on my shoulder because I'm gonna wear a bar dot dress now I'm blending it with my brush and you can see it's so easy to blend when you have applied your foundation in dots once I have blended my foundation on my face I'll go over to my neck and I'll blend my foundation on my neck as well and I'm gonna take proper time in doing so because your base is very important and then I'm using my beauty blender to give a further flawless finish to my foundation and you can also find a tutorial on how to apply foundation on my description box below now I'm using this LA Pro Girl concealer and I'll use it to brighten up my under eye area so under my eyes I'll apply it in triangular shape as you can see this is my favorite concealer and it is like almost over so it's quite difficult for me in to pump it up and I'll also apply it on the bridge of my nose to highlight my nose also on the top of my forehead also I'll apply this on my other eye after applying all the areas where I want to highlight my face I'll also apply my concealer on the chin Yo. now I'll blend it with my beauty blender it's easy to blend it with this beauty blender it is from pack Now I'm gonna apply the same LA Girl Concealer on the top of my eyelids so that it will work as a primer and I'll apply it on my other eye as well and blend it well with a beauty blender. Now to set my makeup I'll use this banana powder from Makeup Revolution brand and I'll take a fluffy powder brush to apply it first underneath my eyes to set my concealer and then all over my face to set my foundation and concealer as well it's very important to set your makeup so this step you should always do if you want to make your makeup last for a long time now for contour I'll use my angular contour brush and I'll take this contour shade from my freedom palette and I'll apply it like so you can also find my video on contouring 
I'll also leave the link to it in my description box below. After applying it, I'll just blend it with a more fluffy brush. This is a powder brush and it's quite fluffy. So I'll use it to blend my contour. Now I'll also contour my nose to make it look sharp. For that I'm using a thin brush. For this you can use your eyeshadow brush to apply it. After applying it I'll be using this fluffy eyeshadow brush to blend it all. So you can see you can use a single brush for multiple purposes but you have to take care that the brush that you are using should be clean. So I'm almost done with the blending. Alright now it's time to apply my blush and for that I'll take this shade right from my freedom palette and I'll apply it with this brush on the top of my cheeks and then I'm blending my blush with my contour so the key is to blend your blush with your contour so that there is no harsh line visible differentiating your contour with your blush they should look together repeating the same on the other side of my face and yes blending is the key girls for my highlighter i'll be going with soft and gentle shade from mac and i'm using my same brush so i'm holding it like this so that the brush looks thin and i'll be able to apply my highlighter with this now I'll apply highlighter on my higher points of cheeks and then I'll apply the same shade on my brow bone area combining it with my higher points of cheeks so as to make alphabets. So girls your same highlighter can be used to apply on your brow bone area. And now I'll apply highlighter on the bridge of my nose and then I'll be blending my highlighter with my blush also to further blend it all together I'll use this fluffy powder brush and I'll blend my highlighter with my blush and blush with my contour. So the key is to blend them all together. For lining my lips, I'll be taking this red shade from Faces brand and I'll line my lips with this lip liner. Once I'm done with lining my lips, I'll also apply the same lip liner all over my lips so as to give a base to my lip shade so girls for my perfect red lip shade i always apply a perfect red lip liner underneath my red lippy for my lip shade i'm taking this always red shade from shafora brand and this is my perfect and favorite lip shade when it comes to red lip color so I'll just apply it on the top of my already applied lip liner on my lips. For my eyeshadow, I'll be using Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition. And I'll be taking shade Sandalwood on my fluffy brush. And I'll apply it on the top of my crease line. And this will be my transition color. Also girls, always remember to tap off any extra product from your brush before applying any product on your face or eyes. So be it your eyeshadow or highlighter or a blush, you should tap off your brush. 
so now i am almost done with blending my transition color on my first eyes i'll repeat the same process on my second eyes and girls key to a perfect eyeshadow is your patience so once i'm done with this transition color i'll be taking my second color that is second shade henna from the same palette on my same brush and i'll go over the first shade that i've already applied this step is to just give the definition to my already applied and created crease line so now you can see how beautiful it is looking after merging with my first shade and girls remember the key is to blend your two shades together so that there is no harsh line visible so i'm blending my second shade with my first shade and when i am happy with the blend i'm going to apply my third shade to further amplify my eyes for that i'll be using shade bossy from the same palette i'll take that in my another fluffy brush and i'll gonna apply it in the outer corner of my eyes and i'll blend it with my transition color so you can see a beautiful definition is created on my eyes i'll repeat the same on my other eyes and it looks like i'm almost done with this now i'll apply my glitter shade on my eyelids for that i'll be taking the shade rose gold from the palette and i'll be using my fingers to apply it you can also apply your glitter shade with a flat eyeshadow brush I'm applying it with my fingers because I find that uh, a glitter shade looks more pigmented when I apply it with my fingers. So I'm almost done. You can see how pigmented the shade is. I'm using a beautiful rose gold for beautiful Valentine day. Okay, I'm almost done with it and I've applied the same on my second eyes. Now, I'm taking the shade sandalwood to apply under my lower lash line and I'm going to apply it starting from the outer corner of my eyes to the inner corner of my eyes. Once I'm done on the first side, I'll repeat the same on my second eyes. After applying my lightest shade sandalwood I'll apply this shade henna again on my lower lash line but I'll just apply it in the outer corner of my eyes leaving my inner corners So just from the middle of my eyes to the outer corner of my eyes Now I'll use this brown shade from Plum and I'll apply it as an eyeliner on my eyelid. But I'll start from the middle of my eyes and I'll go till the outer corner of my eyes. I'm doing this to just give a further definition to my eyes. If you are fond of black eyeliner then you can apply your black eyeliner instead of going with a brown shade Once I've applied this I'll blend it with my flat brush I'm also quite fond of black eyeliner but I wanted to keep this look a little bit different than my previous looks so I went with my brown coal instead of a black eyeliner
and for a change this also looked quite nice and I'm done once I'm done with that I'll be applying highlighter in the inner corner of my eyes for that I'll be using the same highlighter shade from MAC brand and I'll apply it with a thin brush and blend it with my eyeshadow also guys I'm gonna again apply my highlighter on my bow bone area so as to further amplify the highlights on my brow bone area and once I'm done with my first eye I repeat the same on my other eye For my mascara, I am using Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara from Benefit brand in the shade Extreme Black. And girls, as I'm going to wear a bar dot dress, I'm highlighting my collarbone area and I'll also highlight my shoulder. This step is just to keep my body in sync with my face. So not only my face will shine, my collarbone area and shoulder will also give an um factor and once i'm done with my makeup i'll spray fix plus from mac brand this will ensure that my makeup lasts for a very very long time and after i spray it i'll leave it for four to five minutes to set it on my face and get it dry this is my final look so once again, a very, very happy Valentine's Day, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dreamboat Slayer. You can also follow me on Instagram with the same name, Dreamboat Slayer. So I guess I'll see you soon in my next video. Till then, 